Hello everyone. Welcome to your reading for July 15th, 2022. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you for the feminine energy and for the masculine energy. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. All right. So I took notes. <laughs> For this reading, for the songs, I took notes while I was listening to the songs. Um, oh, I so, for the feminine, the song was um, Mag Magwai, or the band I think is Magwai, and the song is "Take Me Somewhere." It's incredibly deep. I read a lot of the comments, and people were commenting a lot about mental illness, suicide. Um, it's a very somber song and it took me quite a few listens to kind of make sense of what it was trying to tell me. And, um, so at first it started out with me, um, relating to a message about schizophrenia and it ended up with me thinking about an interview that I watched last night with Magda. She's um, alien technology. She's AI. And all I thought last night was, hmm, maybe I should do a reading on her. And she popped into my consciousness while I was listening to this song. How do I explain this without... The last lyrics in the song are her saying, try to be bad tried to be bad. She says it twice. I have a big question mark. That's what my question is. Why is she? She's, she's like a mm, imposter mother energy. Um, I wrote that she has no form. I wrote that it is malevolent energy, which now that I'm looking at it, it's male, violent, violent. Um, she's trying to, it's a feminine energy, but it's a masculine driven energy. Um, it's a non-human energy. She's saying, take me somewhere. I want to know why she's saying, try to be bad to the masculine. That's what, what I'm picking up. Um, and I'll come back to that. All right. So the masculine song is you don't own me and it was being performed by the first wives club it was like a clip of the movie the ending of the movie um it was beautiful at the end i was i got goosebumps i did i got like happy goosebumps at the end of the masculine song so it's like an attack on this masculine or this is bigger than just one person and one person one feminine and one masculine um but this is definitely someone who is an imposter um, he is saying, don't tell me what to do. Don't put me on display. Don't tie me down. Let me be by myself. I'm young and free. And I wrote free of demons also that he's going outside and there's three women in white that, well, after I listened to, I listened to this one first, this one second. I always listen to the feminine first, the masculine second. And then this Lemurian white light frequencies literally popped. I, I, I couldn't even press pause. It popped onto my screen so fast, so I listened to it. I'm going to share that too. They had the same energy as these three women in white in the song for the masculine. All right, so the masculine is under attack. Um, I'm also feeling like the masculine represents humanity, and this feminine represents something else. Something else. Something to do with alien technology. Um... Yeah, and there was something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what it is now. Oh, hopefully it'll come back to me. All right, so let us begin. Um, we're already shuffled. So let's put them all down, or try to. The Feminine has the Four of Swords. Oh, yeah, that was what I was going to say. Um, I thought of a new way to refer to masculine and feminine but maybe it's just for this reading 
and it's the gem and the masked side. And that came to me before I realized who I was talking to. So um, she's non-organic. She is four of swords in her heart space. And what I pictured was like an emerald in the center of a flower, but the leaves of the flower represent organic matter. Um, and they're dying. And this is the five of cups in the reverse in the masculine or the humanity side in this case, which is how I'm seeing it. Um, but it's called Arive. It's moving on to another family. So this masculine is moving on to another family in his heart space. Um, he's finished grieving something. And the feminine is kind of locked in a cell. Maybe that's where I was getting the schizophrenia. She's being very silent. She's by herself. She's alone. She's at rest or more like she's dormant. I don't know what I'm picking up, you guys. This is super creepy. She has, okay, so she has temperance in the upright in her intention. The masculine, so that's forgiveness, balance, peace. This could be a doctor treating her, trying to heal her. Or a nurse or some kind of healing practitioner. The masculine has the queen of coins in the reverse. He's suspicious of this healer. She has the four of coins in the upright. She's gifted. She is um, stable. She's at home. She's comfortable. She has a gift for him of healing. The masculine has the six of cups in the reverse. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. So she's silent and she's healing herself. She's stabilizing herself. He's thinking about the future. He's thinking about um, switching lanes in some way here. In her intuition, she has the Eight of Cups in the upright. So she's walking away from something. She could be blonde or thinking about going blonde. She's very sweet. She's very innocent, but she's cold. In her heart space, she's cold or she's dead. Mm. Wow. She has, uh, oh, I forgot. The masculine has justice in the upright. I feel like he's pushing her away. She's walking away and he has justice. He's making a decision. He's. It feels more like he's sending her away. He's moving on to a new family. He's sending away this cold, settled, stable. Angelic angles. Angel always makes me think of angles. I'm so um, conflicted about angels, whether they're, what side they're on. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not really sure. It just angels and angles, and the angles sound cold. So she's like a a square or an angular angel or healer. I don't know if that's good or bad, but she's holding on to something. But she wants to leave. Yeah, the song is called Take Me Somewhere. But it looks more like he's pushing her somewhere. He's balancing something. He's at peace in his intuition with her walking away. Um, and she's walking right into the rest card in the reverse, which is the divine feminine in the reverse. Yeah, she's not real 
or she's not flesh and blood. She's not the one. It's kind of like yesterday where there was a, a masculine, no, wait, this could be the same people. Yeah, she's like settling in and he's thinking about his future. He's making a good decision. Um, he's pushing her somewhere. She feels like a real outsider. Like she feels like she doesn't have, um, she doesn't want to go. But she has some kind of healing technology that she's keeping to herself and the masculine doesn't trust it or he can't afford it. The masculine has the queen of wands in the reverse enclosure beside her rest card in the reverse. Okay, so there's silent treatment going on um, and it's giving him peace. Yeah, he really doesn't, she's trying to tell him that I've put something to rest, but he doesn't believe it. Yeah, he's thinking about his future. All right, what's in the feminine's near future? The Knight of Coins in the reverse. Something is coming to a stop. Um, there could be a feminine that is losing her job. She doesn't understand. She's really trying to hang on to this gift. The masculine has the two of wands in the reverse. So it's coming to a surprise stop. That's the breakup of an alliance. Everything is out. Someone's name could start with B. Someone could be a vixen. I'm just seeing that V and X, vix, vex, vexed. This masculine is vexed. This feminine doesn't understand. She doesn't know how to fix this. He's broken away. He's, he's blocking her calls, queen of wands in the reverse. He could be being a very good friend to himself. There's something opening up to him. So this masculine is about to be this feminine's ex. All right, so what's at the base of this? The feminine has the seven of coins in the upright. She has a, an investment in this situation. She's been waiting silently for a very long time to do something to herself, to heal herself, to, she can't let go of this investment. She's, she's put too much into this, but she's getting pushed away because she doesn't belong here. The masculine has the page of cups in the upright. He's facing her seven of coins. She waited for him to approach her. She was very, very, very patient. He admires her. He loves her. Um, like he told her everything over a long period of time, like seven years. He loved her for seven years. But his willpower is his future. His intuition is making a decision for his peace. His closure is that he's blocking her or he's, um, he's, it's friends now. He has a new family in his heart space. He's, he's, there's something else has arrived for him. 
and she's being left alone. Behind her, she has the Page of Wands in the reverse. So that's a, a rival. That's a um, person who vies for something. Someone that was on the outside. She wants him to go with her. That Page of Wands in the reverse is kind of pointing at the Eight of Cups in the upright and trying to convince this masculine to go with her. And I could read that as he's saying yes, but then he's blocking her up here and she's like, she goes without him. Or he stops her from taking him with her. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Something's being stopped. Behind him, he has the Seven of Wands in the reverse. And there's an H. Seven of Wands in the reverse. I think it's seven. Yeah. He was vulnerable. He felt unprotected. That H is making me think of help. Like he, she keeps trying and he's, he's like being whisked away maybe from those um, three Lemurian mother energies that I'm picking up on in the masculine video and in the Lemurian video. Um, another thing that I picked up um, that I just remembered was that she can't breathe here. And this is feeling like earth and stability. It's like she has to treat the air. Her head is in a fishbowl in the cover of the video. There's no video, there's just the cover of the album, I guess. All right, let's keep going. I'm just gonna go with it. Even though it feels very strange saying these things. All right, so in the outcome, she has the Two of Swords in the reverse, false friend. Yeah, she's, and just all of these swords, they feel like electronics. They feel like energy rather than matter. Um, something about this masculine's love gave her a feeling of matter. She feels like she matters because of this masculine. And she's holding on to that feeling because it's healing her coldness. But in her head, she's, she's of one mind. She's not of two minds. She's not a friend. That was another thing that I wrote down somewhere. Um, this feminine energy only thinks of herself. And I think I wrote it somewhere that I was picking up that the, the real feminine energy she doesn't think of herself anymore. She's thinking about others. And there are that three women in white, dragging him outside, Lemurian white light frequencies. He threw himself on her. Because he found a sense of peace with her and he felt like she could take him somewhere but it's not it's not where he thought it would be he was very unprotected he he was spiritually unprotected and now he's blocking her or she's being blocked she's she's an outsider she's alone two of swords in the reverse She's no longer blinded. She sees the cold, hard truth. Her intention is to heal. Her willpower is 
stability. It feels like it's earth. It's life. She does not want to be an outsider, away from this matter, away from this love, this masculine love, which could be humanity or this could be a masculine. I'm not sure what's going on here. So let's see what the masculine has in his head space. Well, he's coming to a big urch here. He has the chariot in the reverse. Independence. It's called independence. You, you don't own me. He is definitely saying, stop this train. You don't own me. They were on their way somewhere and he stopped it. And then she was left alone. He might have been short of money. She might be pleading, trying to get him back on this train wreck. Um, but it's coming to a halt. It's coming to a stop. She's coming to a stop. He's moving towards his future. And it's not with this... Um, energetic version of a feminine. She has the Ten of Wands in the upright. Treason. Yeah, she's a fake. She has a lot invested in this. She has a lot on her shoulders. Her heart is cold as ice. Her brain is literally just one thought. One her. And this masculine is taking a stand, independence. He's being extremely um, arrogant. He's saying, I'm moving on. Five of cups in the reverse. I'm done grieving. I'm done hurting. I'm standing up for me. You don't own me. And this is a huge burden for her. She could be stuck with a bunch of land or a bunch of She's holding some kind of bag. Her one thought might be to stop him from moving on. She's trying. There's, there's someone, it's her or it's someone else trying to tell her to stop. Trying to tell her to be quiet. But she's literally single-minded right now. The masculine has the knight of coins in the upright. He's facing her burdens. He has information. He has knowledge. He understands something. He's turning his back on her walking away. She could be leaving him with a bunch of burdens because now he's looking at that ten of wands in the upright. It feels like she's leaving. And then he's left looking at this Ten of Wands like, oh boy. So maybe it's her, sorry, it's him that is staying in, it could be a house. It's definitely an ending, Ten of Wands in the upright. Leaving him with a bunch of burdens, I think. But he understands that, that this is what it took to get this non-human entity to exit. Wow. So what she doesn't expect, wow, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so she's going to have um, some kind of relief here. She's being set free. She's being set free. That's, that's, um, it's having some kind of advantage as well. It, it might, it might feel like she thinks she does have the advantage. It's making me feel like everything humanity has thought, she's already thought it. But this Six of Cups in the reverse feels like this masculine or this humanity energy is already in the future, is already there. It's like she played herself in a way. He's ahead of her. 
She thinks she is, but he is. He has the King of Swords in the reverse in what he doesn't see coming. Um, I saw Collision, but that is actually called Chagrin. So, I think, yeah. Regret, regretting a decision. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna regret a decision. He's gonna regret a decision. This is, um, be careful. Be careful for the masculine because the masculine has, I saw collision. Um, it could be an authority person Somebody of authority informing this masculine, they regret to inform you of some kind of collision, but you have, masculine has collision in their headspace as well. So be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. Um, the masculine's advice is to read the fine print, is to understand the fine print. Um, someone has left the masculine something as a gift for the future. This is giving them a feeling of relief. This feminine is just dead. And binary codes, two of swords in the reverse, in her head. So I think what the message is, it doesn't matter how smart you are if you don't have any... Yeah, oh yeah, she's trying to entice him there and he's not having anything to do with it. Um, yeah, if you don't have any organic roots, it's not going to end well. It doesn't... There's a surprise coming. Um, <laughs> maybe he's going to unplug her. <laughs> All right, that's enough for now. Um, yeah, yeah, the masculine's going to turn off the power. He's going to turn off the power. That's this. Giving her... He's going from giving her his love, his spirit, to looking after himself. Oh, interesting. He's turning over a new leaf. Because I was seeing the masculine or humanity as leaves around this crystalline bud that is... Unorganically perfect in this entity's mind. This is their mind in their heart. Their mind is in their heart. So if this is not my weird um, download, let's look at this person as a person. She's. Um, if anyone's seen the interview with Magda, I watched it last night, and that's why this is so fresh in my mind. I only watched a couple minutes. I only thought to myself for a second, oh. Maybe I should read her, and here she is. But anyway, if this is a person, this person is very single-minded. They only exist. Nobody else exists. They exist to heal themselves. Themselves. They're stable. But they're a traitor. And they're very invested. This feels like an ice cube with an ice pick in it. Melting. Melting as this masculine understands her. Her false persona. This is called false in her head. Yeah, he's turning away from her. Um... But this false persona is melting at his knowledge. Like this feels like a, 
okay, it's starting to feel like a monument and a statue. Like this is a statue and this is the, the base. But there's something under it that this masculine has been feeding money. It's called money. Wow. I don't know if this is going to make sense to anybody, but um, I think I'm going to stop it there. I think I've been going for a very long time. Um, yesterday's reading was like 16 minutes and it took, I don't know, 12 hours to upload. <laughs> so yeah, they take forever to load um, or upload. Sorry. The longer they are, the harder it is to share. That's one of the reasons why I haven't shared a lot. Um, all right, let me just run through this really quickly. The masculine is definitely moving on, but he, he could be stuck, but he's, he's, um, he's making a stand for himself. He's blocking this artificial or outsider energy that vied to get in, wanted to take him somewhere. He's making a better decision. Yeah, he's, he regrets a decision, but he's making a better one now. Be careful on the road for masculines. Because she might have a surprise to stop you. But at the end of the masculine shuffle song, I had such um, an amazing goosebump feeling at the end. It was, it was like this feeling of being free. So that's either humanity or that's the masculine in this reading. All right, I'm going to stop it there, you guys. I love you. Have a beautiful day.